Hey y'all. All right, I'm gonna get y'all, let y'all get in, get inside the room. How y'all doing today? My bad for the tardiness. I am tardy to the party. My fault, but I'm here and we are ready. How y'all doing today? Y'all, there's so many people, I don't know if y'all were here last week, but so many people um, last week took their ATITs and um, I, I've gotten like over like five, at least five personal messages saying, hey, I, I specifically, you know, have been watching your teas. I've been using your bundle and I passed teas. Some people gave me their um, scores. I'm going to post one. Um, young, one young lady, she was um, averaging about like a 79.4, I think it was. And then after coming to Teas Tuesday for a couple weeks and getting the ATI Teas bundle, um, she went ahead and she took her teas and she actually got 97%. I have another one that got 80%, another one that got 88%, and the average, um, like, median um, score was, like, 66%. So, it's above average for me. It's the above average for me. All right, guys. Hello, hello. Let me see what y'all saying. Welcome, welcome. No, no beyond 9%. Hey, pure. Hey, law. All right, guys. Our episode or our session... For Tease Tuesday is going to be a good one, okay? So, you guys know that... We are in just a little bit. We are, just a little bit. Um, okay, so you guys know that this episode and pretty much every episode, especially before it, has been sponsored by none other than the wonderful Nurse Hub. Hold on one second. If you guys do not know about Nurse Hub, they are a premium um, test source and a test service that's going to give you your entrance exam um, tests and allow you to actually track your progress and actually give you um, even the T7 updates. So if you guys are taking your T's um, after June 3rd, which is when ATIT's is um, transferring from ATIT 6, which is the current version, to ATIT 7. They already gave out the, um, they already put out the ATIT 7 um, breakdown and the main difference, once again, the main difference between um, ATI T7 and ATI T6 is that they are taking away life sciences and adding the category, um, the subcategory of chemistry, biology, um, anatomy, and physiology. Um, so that's going to be one of the main, main differences. Now, I don't want you guys to be, a, <laughs> a lot of you guys are like freaking out, like, oh my God biology and chemistry but the gag is it's, it's already been here it's already been there it was just under a nice name called life sciences so what they did was just take away the umbrella of life sciences and just take all that that was below it, below it which is genetics chemistry biology and they took that and made it, it, it its own sub um section or subcategory so the questions were already there um it was just under a different name, but you, now it's going to have its own specific category for chemistry, biology. So just because it has chemistry and biology uh, labeled on it, don't get intimidated. Don't get freaked out. Okay. We're just going to be um, a little bit more specific when we come to that review. But every, um, well, at least my ATIT study guide, I will be giving you guys an update um, to that bundle. So if anybody has the ATITs bundle, um, I will let you guys know when that update will be coming. I'm just going to shoot you guys the update. You don't need to repurchase anything. It's just going to be um, updated information, especially about the breakdown of the test. And then um, Nurse Hub also, they're going to be updating their um, information. And their update is actually coming out closer to June. So if you guys want to um, stay in the loop as far as the Nurse Hub, make sure you guys are studying the correct material that you especially that you want if you're going to ATIT7, you need to go ahead and um, follow and join their ATIT's study group. I'm going to give you guys the link right here. Okay, hold on one second. I'm gonna drop the link here in the comments. All right, that is the um, ATIT's study group for Nurse Hub. That's where you guys are going to find all, all the updates um, in regards to ATIT7, okay? Now, um, once again, hey guys, LPN from Florida. Um, do you recommend setting for ethics now? Um, yeah, I hold on one second. How soon before graduating would you recommend setting for ethics? I personally say start 
studying for English as soon as you get accepted into <laughs> nursing school. But, you know, I would start studying for the NCLEX as soon as possible. And also join me on on Thursday for NCLEX Jeopardy where we get more specific into the NCLEX. For now, we are on our ATIT's entrance exam. Um, a lot of people keep asking me if I have like HESI information. Um, my study kits are specifically for ATITs. Um, you can use that information to help you study for the HESI, but as far as like the breakdown, the format, it's something about the ATITs that's just a little bit more. Like I said, ATI has its own language, so that's why I wanted to make a specific study guide and study kit for ATITs. Um, but that information is most likely going to, like the math science you know, that information is going to be the same with the HESI so you can use that and I've had a lot of people use the ATIT stuff for the HESI exam and still successfully pass as long as you know the difference between HESI and ATITs um the, like the breakdown of what it's categories and everything like that um but if you guys want me to do a specific bundle like a specific breakdown for the HESI let me know put in the comments below and I will get ahead and get started working on that. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and get started with the main event. Okay. Hold on. Let me scroll back down. All right. So you guys, you guys know why you're here. ATIT's Jeopardy review. If you guys, if this is your first time, let me know if this is your first time in ATIT's. Um, if you are a repeat offender, welcome back. You guys already know the drill, but I'm going to run it down one more time. All right, so this is ATIT's Tuesday, a.k.a. our Jeopardy style review. Um, it's our ATIT's um, review, but we're just doing it in a very fun and motivating way. You guys know me. I don't do anything boring. I don't do anything stale. <laughs> so I like to actually have um, to make it into like a Jeopardy game or add some sort of gamification to it. So it's a little bit more motivating and fun. You, it actually makes you want to study, makes you want to learn. So, you know, um, oh, hello, all my first timers. You guys can ask some of the people that um, have come time and uh, time after time, week after week. When we say we have a fun review, we have a fun review, okay? I stand on that proudly. It's nothing boring about our reviews. We're laughing, we're dancing, we're doing all sorts of craziness. <laughs> but at the end of the day, we are learning. And everything that we are learning, even though it has you know some creativity and some fun, entertaining elements to it, that helps it stick in your mind more, all right? You're when you're entertained, you retain more, okay? So that's the theme of Nurse Sam and our study by community. So let's go ahead and pull up our questions for today. Uh, all right. So you guys know we have um, four sections and I'm gonna show you guys, um, when I say it's Jeopardy style, I'm gonna show you what I mean. Now, if you guys have the Nurse Sam app, you'll be able to actually see this um, in the actual app, but I'm gonna show you my screen and what I see. Uh, one second. All right, so that is what I mean when I say Jeopardy style, okay? We have our blue screens. You have to say what is. These are our categories for today, math, science, reading, English. And you guys know that since we are doing it on live and it'll be verbal, reading in English, you can't really do too much with reading in English. That's going to be reserved for the um, the Nurse Sam app. So if you download the free Nurse Sam app and go to um, T's Prep, you can go ahead and access last week's game, last week's 20 questions. You get fresh 20 questions every week, every Tuesday. Um, same thing with NCLEX Jeopardy, fresh 25 questions for NCLEX. For, but for ATITs, you get a fresh 20 questions. All of them have been sponsored by nursehub.com. So if you guys um, are challenged and love these questions, which are ATIT style questions, okay, we're not just randomly making things up. <laughs> um, if you love these these questions and you want more, that's why I say go ahead and sign up for nursehub.com because th that's where these questions are coming from, okay? Now, um, I'm going to be verbally like reading out loud the math and science questions. Those are going to be the sections that we do today. Um, and we have 100 through 500 points. It can be anybody's game. We are playing for points. Y'all know how I do. That adds a little bit more motivation and like a competitor's edge to it. A friendly competitor's edge to it. 
um, and you guys know that the winner of um, tonight's ATITs will win a free ATITs bundle um, if they don't have it already. So that's going to be our prize for today. And today we are going to have one winner. Today we're going to have one winner. We're really going to be competitive today. All right. All right. So once again, a little rundown of the rules. I'm going to read the question. I'm going to read the answer choices. The answer choices, they're all multiple choice. There's no select all that apply in this, at least. <laughs> There's no select all that apply. Um, it's all multiple choice, one, two, three, or four. In true Jeopardy style fashion, <laughs> about 3,000 points. In, in true um, Jeopardy style fashion, you have to say what is and then whatever the answer is, one, two, three, or four in order to be correct and um, considered for the points. Now, how we win the points is the first person to say what is and then whatever the correct answer is on my screen is going to be the winner of those points. Now, I will say my disclaimer because I have to say it every week. Because this is Instagram Live, the, and the connectivity is sometimes a little bit janky, so what's on my screen, as far as like your comments, may not be what's on your screen. Please don't cuss me out. <laughs> Please don't cuss me out and say, no, it was me first. Blah blah blah. I, I, I'm sorry, but just on my screen is only what I can go. Um, what I can go by. Um, but just in case, like you answered first on your screen and I couldn't see it on my screen, it's it's okay. We have more questions. We're gonna have literally like an hours of review. Okay. <laughs> um, but once again, the whole point of this is to help us be motivated and actually want to study for the ATITs. It can be very, very overwhelming on its own. So that's why I wanted to add like a fun element to it. Um, but of course, you guys know for the real ATITs, you don't have to say what is and you don't have to be first. You know, there's no like competition as far as um, besides time and yourself. But as long as you get the answers correct at the end of the day, that's all that we care about. That's our main goal. You know, just for fun and for incentive, we're just going for, you know, who says what is in first. But you guys know on the real ATITs, you don't have to say that. <laughs> you don't have to say that. As long as you're right, you're good. Move on to the next question. Um, okay, so and then after we get finished with these questions, I'm going to update and send these questions from tonight into the app so you guys can have a fresh um, 20 set. Like I said, the questions in the app right now are from last week the math, science, reading, English, all 20 questions. And then when we get finished with this one, I'm gonna go ahead and update the app to reflect these questions. So even the ones that we don't go over and we won't go over all 20 questions, I guarantee you. We usually get through like maybe 10. <laughs> um, but all 20 questions will be available to you in the Nurse Sam app, okay? When you go to the app store, you may see the Nurse Sam app and the Study Bar app. You're going for the Nurse Sam app. That's for the free for everybody. Oh yeah, the study bar is for the study bar community. That's our um, monthly membership. You guys can join that if you would like to. You get access to all sorts of crazy, you get literally access to everything. I'll go into that a little bit later, but the monthly membership is $29.99 and you get the um, app with it as well. But if you don't have a membership and you have not paid for the membership or paid to be a part of the membership, there's no point of having the study bar app because you won't be able to get into it. You won't be able to see anything. So don't even worry about that. The app that you want to worry about <laughs> is the Nurse Sam app, right? That's gonna have our NCLEX Jeopardy and our ATITs, okay? Did you guys get the rules? Let me know if I can go ahead and get started. We got, like I said, we're doing math and science. Um, I'm gonna start off with a 500 pointer because I know some people's batteries dying. I see, ma'am. <laughs> so let's start off with a science for 500. Yeah. Science for 500, let me know if you guys are ready. Give me a thumbs up in the comments. Thumbs up in the comments. If you guys are ready for the start of ATIT's Tuesday Jeopardy. Are you ready? Are you ready? Kiki said we are ready. I don't, I'm not saying thumbs up. I'm not saying thumbs up. Literally put thumbs up in the comments. Thank you. Thank you so much. Let me know you're ready. Um, also, a little quick tip because we're playing for speed and points it it probably behoove you <laughs> to, to go ahead and type in uh, what is in your comment and just like copy and paste it so that when you're about to answer the question all you got to do is put, tap and paste and then put one two three or four you don't have to type out the whole answer you can just say one two three or four um that's going to save you seconds and ultimately help you win the game okay tip from me to you 
All right, so I'm getting a whole bunch of thumbs up, so that means you are ready for Science for 500, okay? All right, so once again, I'm gonna read the question, I'm gonna read the answer choices, and then you guys answer with what is, and then the answer. All right, so let's see who gets it correct and gets it correct first. All right, Science for 500. The ep epiphyseal, epiph oh crap, I don't know how to say that word. Epiphyseal, I think that's how you say it. Epiphyseal, hold on one second, it's gonna bother me. One second. Pronunciation, it's literally gonna bother me. Wait. Wait. I suck. Epiphyseal, epiphyseal, okay, epiphyseal, great. Let's go back to the question, that was embarrassing. Oh. All right, so the epiphyseal plate, which is responsible for the growth and the length of a bone, is made of which of the following? One, osteocytes. Two, cartilage. Three, osteoclasts. Or four, osteons. I'm going to run that back. The ep the, ep the epiphyseal the epiphyseal plate, which is responsible for the growth and the length of a bone, is made of which of the following? So one, osteocytes, two, cartilage, three, osteoclasts, or four, osteon. What is our answer? Mm, I'm getting like a thank you because epi epiphyseal. Thank you because I I cannot get it. Listen, and once you get through nursing school, you have to say some, pronounce some of these drugs and meds and, and diseases, you won't feel bad at all, okay? All right, let's look and see what that answer is. The correct answer is, what is two? What is two cartilage? That is the correct answer. What is two cartilage? All right, let's see who got what is two or what is cartilage first on my screen. Please don't cuss me out. All right, let's see. What is two? What is two? What is two? Or what is cartilage? Uh, A-G-J. A-G-E-E-J. -E <laughs> I'm not pretty, I'm not sure how you want me to say your name. A-G-E-J, maybe? All right, nine, wait, one, nine, nine, one, 2018. Okay, awesome job. So, um, a G J, sure. You're on the scoreboard with 500 points. Congrats, love. Great job. Now, remember, like I said, the on the real ATITs, this is null and void. As long as you answer it correctly, that's what I'm, that's what I'm worried about. So, everyone that answered correctly, even though you weren't first, that's fine. Um, R and Liz, great job. Um, Pure Buyout. Mm, P Nelson. Sangeeta, Big Jake, Kiki26, Nika Beauty, uh, Feisty Brat, mm -mm -mm. Nicole, you gotta say what is Nicole, but you gotta write. Um, <laughs> um, please don't. <laughs> Yo, I should really make a shirt that says, please don't cuss me out. If you guys have been following me for a long time, y'all know that I most likely will probably have that shirt tomorrow. So actually, let me write a sticky note, please. Don't cuss <laughs> me out. That's funny. I'm gonna make that anyway. That sticky note on my computer. Um, who else got that? All right, awesome job to everyone that got what is two or cartilage. Let's go over the rationale as to why. All right, so it says that epiphyseal plate, which is responsible for continued elongation of the bones, is made up of cartilage. Um, osteoclasts, a lot of people chose osteoclasts, this is what they are. Osteoclasts are responsible for resorption of calcified bones during the remodeling phase, uh, while almond-shaped osteocytes are responsible for maintenance of calcified bone matrix. Um, osteons are the structural unit of compact bone characterized by concentric bone layers surrounding a central canal. All right, so I don't know about you guys, but whenever I had, when I was learning skeleton system and, and everything about bones, uh, musculoskeletal, but specifically the skeletal system, I compared it a lot to um, HGTV. 
and like building houses and you heard, you saw the word remodeling my mind instantly went to like fix it or list it or live it list it or fix it love it or list it ha yeah that's where my mind instantly went like my mind goes to HGTV and I sit here and I actually like you know um assign who the um the workers are on the remodeling of the house or remodeling of the whatever unit um against the names of the um like the osteocytes the osteoclasts so for example it says the epiphy the epiph epiphyseal plate is responsible for the continued elongation of bones made up of cartilage um what is something that i can think of that has to do with like remodeling a house that has something to do with like continued elongation um I, for some reason like the driveway instantly popped up in my mind a elongated driveway that continues long to <laughs> grow long whatever um osteoclasts okay this one says are responsible for resorption of calcified bones during remodeling all right so osteoclasts they're going to be responsible for um uh sweeping up the calcified bones in the remodeled house that's what they're doing and then um osteocytes they're responsible for maintenance of the calcified bone matrix so the osteocytes um are probably going to be they're going to be are like our gardeners they're going to be uh working on maintenance of the house and around the um like the lawn and stuff maintenance that's the word that i'm gonna go ahead and <laughs> commit to my memory and then osteons are the structural unit of compact bones so osteons sound like they're the the walls the structural unit um uh, characterized by concentric bone layers or right, you got uh layers of concrete uh, <laughs> surrounded by a central canal that's in my mind it's going to be our um structural unit or a house that's going to be our main house the osteons okay once again this is how my mind works hgtv just because of that whole remodeling word but let that be um some help to you but once again the answer to this question was cartilage all right what is two um the epiphyseal plate is made up of cartilage all right let's go ahead and go to our next question that was agj let's do All right, let's do math for 400. Let's do math for 400. Um, some, some of you guys that were with me, I think it was either, I think it was two weeks ago, two T's weeks ago, when we did the whole Mean Girls uh, uh, skit, when she was talking about the percent of calories from fat and then whatever meat and cheese fries. Y'all remember that? Keep that in your mind, all right? So this is math for 400. All right, a person throwing a party has had 93.5% of their invitations accepted. If they sent out 31 invitations, how many people are coming to the party? If necessary, round to the nearest whole number. One, oh, let me go, <laughs> answer choices. One, 19, two, 28, three, 18, or 429. So just looking from the looking at the answer choices, um, you can tell <laughs> that uh, you rounding is definitely going to determine what answer is going to be. Because if you round to the nearest whole number and you round uh, you round up, you're going to get the 19 or the 18 or the one that's um, one up above the number. So you have like eight, 19 to 18 as an answer choice and 28, 29. So that lets you know that you're definitely gonna have to pay attention to those rounding rules. Um, remember, five or greater, round up. Four or less, round down, all right? So if necessary, once again, round to the nearest whole number. I'm um, gonna go ahead and say that one more time. All right, a person is throwing a party and has had 93.5% of their invitations accepted. If they sent out 31 total invitations, how many people are coming to the party? All right, is it one, 19, two, 28, three, 18, or four, 29? 
What is our answer? Let's see who's got it first. Um, Jackeray. Uh, looks like Jackeray is the only person to get it right so far. Hold on. Let me see if anybody else. Yep. Jackeray is the only person to get it right. The answer is what is for? Um, C Chaos also say it. Awesome job. Um, but yes, so Jackie's, Jack, Jack Gray, how you doing? Boo, you are on the scoreboard. Oh, that's how you spell your name. Oh, it's okay. Is that a Q? Yep. Jack Gray, you're on the scoreboard with 400 points right behind AGJ, who has 500. Great job, because you were the only person for a little minute to get that question. A lot of people chose 18 or 19, but the answer is, once again, what is 4, which is 29. All right, the answer is what is for 29. One second. Let's go ahead and go over how we got that. Now, I know you can't really do that verbally, so I'm going to show you guys how we get that answer. If I can find a piece of paper. All right, sure, let's do it. All right, let's go ahead. Quick looping. Y'all see my calculator? How cute is it, right? How cute. Amazon finds. I'll put a link in my stories, but it's just really cute. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and go over how we got the answer to be what is for. So let me go ahead and put this one second. Wait for it. Hold on. Boop. Are we there? Okay, great. All right, so. I couldn't find a, another piece of paper, so it was going to pop me. Actually, hold on. Wait for it. Wait for it. Boop. All right, so let's do this. Okay, guys, once again, let's go over what the question is actually, the, um, the question is actually answering, I'm mean, asking us. All right, so it says, person throwing a party, all right? Um, woo, y'all know I have to do like some kind of, that's a balloon, by the way. Yeah, so they're throwing a party, awesome. Now, they had 31, they sent out 31 invitations, that was the total amount of invitations sent. All right. Now, according to this question, 93.5% of those who were sent, of, well, I guess of the 31%, of the 31 people that were sent an invitation, 93.5% accepted. So what or how many people are now coming to the party? So if 93.5% of 31 is basically what you're looking for. And then it says round to the, whole, to the nearest whole number if necessary. All right. So that being said, to solve this, we have to just use the percent formula to solve. All right. The percent formula. You guys know the percent formula is part, part of your whole. That sounded really bad, but sorry. I didn't mean for that to be hypersexualized. Anyway, part over whole. Um, equals percent over 100, all right? That is your formula. So based on the text that we're giving here, we can go ahead and plug and play. So what we have is the part, we're looking for the part, um, how many of the 31 um, were accepted. So because we don't know that, we're going to put that as X. So that's going to be X over our whole is going to be the total number that we sent out. So that's going to be our 31. So we have X over 31 equals, remember it said percent over 100. We know our percent, that's 93.5 over 100. All right, so that's going to be our equation. Now, all we got to do is cross multiply and get the value of X. Remember how Katie said that? 42 into 120, cross multiply and get the value of X. 
And then Regina says, whatever, I'm getting cheese fries. <laughs> so we're going to cross multiply 31 times 93.5 and then do X over 100. So that will actually equal 100X equals uh, 90, well, 93.5 times 31 because who has time? Um, 93.5 times 31. That's going to give us 2898.5. All right, so let's go ahead and put that. 2898.5. Keep in mind, we are rounding to the nearest whole number. Remember, they said that. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and isolate for X. Divide both sides by 100. To isolate that X, that's going to give us, divide by, uh, 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 that's going to give us 28.98, that can be 985, whatever. But remember, round to the nearest whole number. What is the, the nearest whole number? <laughs> this can't get literally no near, <laughs> no more near. But 28.9. So in order for us to round to the nearest whole number, we have to go and look at this um tenths place right here remember if it's five and up we we uh, round up if it's four or lower we round down it's definitely nine so it's five and up so we're going to round 28 to the next nearest whole number which is going to be 29 which is how we got to our number four 29 does that make sense give me a thumbs up if that made sense and if you guys love that visual all right all right, how we doing? Does that make sense? Was that a good breakdown? Put that back over here. Put this back over there. Okay, awesome, we got a thumbs up, you guys. Um, that was a good review, perfect. All right, let's go ahead and go to our next question. Great job. Let's do No, no ma'am. Let's do science for 300. Let's do science for 300. And this science is, this is biology, all right? So this is a biology question, specifically biology and science for 300, okay? All right, so it says, which of these is present in a DNA molecule, but not in an RNA molecule? One, ribose sugar. Two, glucose, three, thymine, or four, phosphate group. Thank you so much, Glitter and Wonder. Thank you. Boop. Oh, no, wait. How do I like that? I don't know. I like it. Okay, great. All right, I'm going to read that one more time. Which of these is present in a DNA molecule but not in an RNA molecule? All right. One, ribose sugar. Two, glucose. Three, thymine. Or four, phosphate group all right this is this is a biology question let that kind of marinate and sink in you guys remember back in like high school ap biology or just regular biology one of the main questions that they always ask you <laughs> was what's the difference what is the main difference between a dna molecule and an rna molecule and a lot of people be like it's the d or the r it's the but no there's a specific <laughs> there's a specific um difference all right especially with something that's present in dna but not present in rna all right so what is that answer remember this is NCLEX jeopardy so you have to say what is in order to be um considered correct all right so the answer to this is what is three thymine what is three thymine let's see who got that first what is three hopkins ebony hey boo you are on the scoreboard, Hopkins, Ebony. Welcome back, Boo. You're on the scoreboard for, with 300 points. All right, so we have AG, um, uh, 1991, 2018 with 500 points. We got Jack Array with 400, and then we have Hopkins, Ebony with 300. Like I said, it can still be anybody's game. Come in and just take these 500 points and just keep racking and racking and racking. The game's not over, okay? Congrats to everyone on the scoreboard. Let's see who else got what is three. Um, T Genuine, you were so close right behind her. Great job. Um, T 
Teddy Bro Love, awesome job. C Jack Eves. Um Immacula Michelle. Big Jake. Uh Kiss Kiss. Simply Me. Uh Kiss Kiss Again. Nicole. Simply Me. Uh not on my screen. Uh she got it first. Alright, so uh, once again, just in case you came in afterwards, I can only go by what's on my screen. Um, if on my screen it says that this person got it first, that's all I can go by. It's connectivity with Instagram. It's perfectly fine. Try again next question. We ain't with this game. All right. So, and then remember, as long as you got the answer correct, that's the whole point. Okay. Because <laughs> on the ATITs, you would have got that correct. Doesn't matter if you said what is. Doesn't matter if you came in second. Okay. All right. So. Once again, the answer is what is three thymine? All right, let's go ahead and go into the rationale as to why. Um, DNA and RNA molecules are formed of nucleotide molecules that contain a sugar molecule, a phosphate group, and a nitrogenous base. All right, now that nitrogenous base can either be purine or pyrimidine, okay? Remember, let's go back one more time. DNA and RNA molecules, they're made up of those little nucleotides. Whenever I think about it, I think of tile. I don't know why. <laughs> the tile, the nucleotides. Now, that tile is going to, um, or that nucleotide, is going to contain a sugar molecule, a phosphate group, and a nitrogenous base. That's just the recipe. That's just the recipe of the sauce, okay? Sugar, phosphate, nitrogenous base. Now, that nitrogenous base, that can either be a primidine or purine, all right? I don't, whenever I hear purine, I think about cat food, whatever. Uh, now, pure, uh, as far as the primidine and purine, DNA specifically contains two types of pyrimidine molecules, and those are thymine and cytosine, or TNC, okay? Um, the two pyrimidine molecules that can be present in RNA, remember, we, we did DNA. DNA was T and C. Now, the two primitive molecules that's present in RNA, U and C. All right, so the difference between DNA, which, which has the T and C uh, um, primitive molecules, is that RNA does not have T, it has U instead. RNA has uracil instead of thymine. All right. Um, as far as the purine molecules, both DNA and RNA contain um, the same two, which is um, adenine and guanine, A and G. Okay? Does that make sense? Let that, let that sink into your mind, because I'm, I'm going to ask y'all another question to make sure you're paying attention. All right? Um, the nitrogen bases can either be pyrimidine or purine, once again. The nitrogen bases can either be pyrimidine or purine. But when we break those even further down, pyrimidine of DNA is going to be T and C. And the pyrimidine molecules for RNA is going to be U and C. All right? Now, both DNA and RNA contain purine molecules, which is A and C. Remember I said that purine reminds me of a cat? Like just the cat food or whatever? Now, that can help you with remembering what actual... Um, um, molecules make up the purine molecules. Cat is C-A-T <laughs> and the DNA and RNA contain the purine molecules adenine A oh no, my bad. Adenine A and guanine G. I said I thought it was C, my bad. <clears throat> so once again, um, purine is going to be adenine and guanine. Purine, adenine and guanine. All right, and both DNA and RNA contain the same thing. I'm gonna ask y'all this again. That's why I'm saying saying it over and over so it can stick to your head. Cause make sure that it sticks in yours. Okay. All right. So great job. Let's go ahead and go to the next question. But I will be I will be uh, asking y'all random questions and giving points for those that get it. Okay. All right. So I just did science for 300. Let's do. Math for 200. My bad. All right. That is math for 200 points. All right. 
Ooh, a recipe calls for 12 fluid ounces of milk. Which of the following is the amount of milk in tablespoons? Please note that one fluid ounce equals two tablespoons. All right. The answer choices are one, 24 tablespoons, two, 72 tablespoons, three, six tablespoons, or four, 40 tablespoons. Let me run that back. Recipe calls for 12 fluid ounces of milk. Which of the following is the amount of milk, 12 fluid ounces, with that same amount in tablespoons, if one fluid ounce equals two tablespoons? Is it one, 24 tablespoons, two, 72 tablespoons, three, six tablespoons, or four, body shawty tablespoons, sorry. <laughs> what is our answer? All right, our correct answer is, what is one, 24 tablespoons? 24 tablespoons is the exact, or is the same as 12 fluid ounces of milk. So if we have 12 fluid ounces of milk, it is equal to 24 tablespoons of milk. All right, let's go ahead and see who got that first. One second. What is one? That is Miss Julie Star. Hey, Miss Julie Star. All right, so you are on the scoreboard now. Julie Star with 200 points. Like I said, it can still be anyone's game. Um, who else got what is one? One second. Julie Marillo, Mish Thomas. Uh, remember to say what is Mish. Um, Sang Sangita. Simply me. What else? What else? Uh, Jackeray. Um, Lus Ely. Erica. Pyt Ash. Awesome job. Great job. All right, so the answer is once again, 24 tablespoons, all right? Um, a lot of people chose six, and I think you guys divided instead of multiplied. That's literally where you went wrong. So let's go over how we get that. Where's my paper? All right. Wait for it. I'm going to show you guys. Ow! Ow! Okay, great. All right, so I'm going to show you guys. This, this is my tablespoon, all right? Um, yeah, that's my tablespoon. We have milk. All right, got milk sure all right so we have um 12 fluid ounces that is 12 fluid ounces of milk all right um they're asking for the same amount in tablespoons what we do know is that one fluid ounce equals two tablespoons so knowing that information we're trying to figure out how many tablespoons um, of milk is equal to 12 fluid ounces. All right, so we simply take the total number of fluid ounces that we have and multiply that by two. All right, um, once again, because what per fluid ounce is two tablespoons. So if we have 12 of these, we're going to take that 12 and multiply it by two to give us the amount of tablespoons. High school tablespoon. Tablespoon. Okay, sure. Boop. So our answer is 24 because per one fluid ounce of milk, that's this, um, the equivalent of two tablespoons. So for every one, you get two of these. If you have 12 of these, you're going to have 24. All right? Does that make sense? Thumbs up if that made sense. All right, let's go ahead and go to our next question. Um, who got that again? Miss Julie Star, awesome job. 
for getting that correct and first let's go ahead and go over to our next question and it is science for 400 science for 400 awesome all right this is anatomy yeah this is anatomy yep this is amp all right, which of the following is a substance that the kidneys remove from the blood during filtration? Which of the following is a substance that the kidneys remove from the blood during filtration? Is it one, salts, two, red blood cells, three, carbon dioxide, or four, oxygen? Which of the following is a substance that the kidneys, the back, whatever, <laughs> remove from the blood during filtration? So one, salts, not bath salts, just salts. Two, red blood cells, not blue blood cells, but red blood cells. Three, carbon dioxide, or four, good old oxygen. What are the kidneys going to be removing from the, um, from the blood during filtration? What is the answer? And the answer, I'm just going to show back up. The answer is, what is one? Salts, no bath. Salts without the bath. Awesome job. All right, it says, the kidneys filter waste from the blood, including salts. They do not filter gases out of the blood, nor do they filter out cells. It would suck. If they filtered out cells, I don't know how long we would not last <laughs> much longer. If they filtered out the red blood cells, we out of here, okay? Um, and then it says it does not filter gas, um, and so that literally eliminates carbon dioxide and oxygen. So the only thing that um, could, it could possibly be is one salt, and also let that kind of play in your mind. Um, if the kidneys are removing something, well. During filtration, the goal uh, is for the kidneys to remove waste. So which of these <laughs> on the, our list is close to uh, waste? And that's going to be salts. Um, wait. So the first person to get what is one on my screen is... Hopkins Ebony. Hopkins Ebony. All right, so you you were already on the scoreboard with 300 points, but now you get another 400. So that brings your score up to 700. Don't listen. I told y'all it could be anybody's game. All right, we, but don't worry. We still have questions. We still have questions. All right, so I think we still have another 500 er. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's see who else got what is one though. Besides um, Hopkins Ebony, she was the first one, but. Let's see who else on that game. And if you didn't get one, do not beat yourself up. That's literally why we go over the rationale and why we do Tease Tuesday. So that, you know, you can come and mess up all you want in front of me and other people. Like, you can mess up in front of me all you, all you want. But as long as you're learning from those mistakes and learning from those errors so that you can apply that towards the real test and the real exam. All right? So I'd much rather you get this wrong with me than on the ATITs, okay? So either way, we're all winning and we're all learning, okay? Um, who else got what is one? Um, Miss Julie Starr, I see you, boo. Um, Julie, or is it Julie or July? I kind of like July. I love that. Um, AGJ, I see you. Um, Justina, is it Justina or Just? Yep, Justina. Um, Erica, pretty juicy lips, period. <laughs> um, Mad Mac, Aaron Liz, uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. wait for it, Sarah to Sarah, um, Ash Cash, Alexa, Alexa, play some of that gangster AMP song from Nurse Hub so I can repeat it word for word so I know what to do on the ATITs. <laughs> Whatever. Um, who else got it? Great job. Um, yes, Justina. Perfect. So, uh, yeah, I already told you guys that the kidneys filter out waste, including salts. They do not filter out red blood cells. That would suck. And they also do not filter out gas. So, carbon dioxide and oxygen are out, leaving salts as the answer. Great job, everybody. All right, so let's go ahead and get to our next question. And once again, let's do our 500-pointer. What? 
All right, let's do our 500 pointer. Bars, period. You, I know y'all saw that. I know y'all felt that and y'all was jamming to it. Like, period. Don't lie. <laughs> Don't lie. All right, math for 500 points, guys. All right, y'all ready? Did y'all type in what is? Okay, all right, just, just, just asking. All right, math for 500. To make one teapot, a family uses four tea bags. At a family dinner, they make 23 pots of tea. How many tea bags will they go through during this event? One, 92 bags. Two, 94 bags. Three, 82 tea bags. Or four, 85 tea bags. Run that back, run that back. All right, to make one teapot again, Family uses four tea, uh, tea bags. Um, at a family dinner, they will make 23 pots of tea. How many tea bags will they go through during this event? 92, 94, 82, or 85? What is our answer? I'm just looking at all y'all just choose the same and correct answer. And I'm just so proud. I'm just, no, that was kind of an easy one, but I don't care. I don't care because those are the types of questions that you can expect to see on the ATIDs. They're not all scary, all right? It was literally something that's like just addition. But um, in this case, this is a ratio into like a fraction type form question. Um, and it looks like literally everybody got the same answer. So that just warms my heart. It means all y'all got it right and would have would get it right on the H on the actual ATITs. So city girls up, city girls up a hundred or five hundred, if if you will. All right. So first person though to get what is one on my screen. Oh no! Wait, I lost it. Okay, here we go. First person to get what is one. Um, let me scroll, scroll, scroll. What is one or 92? All right, it's Miss Julie Star for me. Miss Julie Star. Miss Julie Star is first on my screen. Um, so Miss Julie Star, you are already at 200. You just got 500 points added to your score, bringing you to 700 points, tying you with Hopkins Ebony. So both y'all are tied in first place with 700 points. Um, and then we have AGJ with 500 um, and Jack Ray with 400 points. All right, so let's go ahead and get into what is one. You know, why the answer is what is one, which everyone got. So I don't even know why I'm even having to go through it because y'all are pretty much awesome. All right, but I'm gonna go through it one second. I have to put my lashes back on and filter. Um, all right, let me go ahead and do my drawing all right hold on a teapot i don't know how to draw a teapot without looking at a teapot oh ooh. Ooh. it kind of looks like the lamp from aladdin kind of Ooh, this is bad um ooh. Mm. i'm a little teapot short and stout here is my handle here. No, it looks, literally looks like a watering pail. Okay, whatever. Hold on. One second. Wait. Okay. If y'all judge me and laugh at my drawing, I'm blocking you. <laughs> this is bad. I'm not going to lie to you. This is bad. Anyway, so that's our teapot. Tea. Pot. <laughs> right future yarners that's because that's the song all right so that's our teapot now remember um to make one teapot the family uses four tea bags Ooh, and then sure all right so they uses four tea bags all right. So once again, per one teapot, they use four tea bags. 
um, they're having a family dinner. They're actually going to be making 23. Well, 23 of these things. All right. So if they're going to be using 23 teapots or they're, if they're going to be making 23 teapots and, you know, to make one, you have to use four. What's going to be our total number that we use during the event? So if we have to multiply this one by 23 to give us 23 pots, we also have to multiply the number of tea bags that um, it takes. So we have to actually all multiply this one as well. Um, you can also, besides my question, my pictures, you can set it up in a ratio. Um, like I said, uh, uh, one teapot to four bags and kind of set it up like that. And then, but it's also going to, it's all going to give you the same answer. 23 teapots um, is going to equal, where's my handy dandy calculator? Because I don't feel like it. I don't feel like it. Uh, 23 times 4. 92. Ooh, y'all see that? Ooh, ooh. All right, so that's going to give us 92 of them Lipton tea bags. Oh, wait, my pen. I got a new one. Ew. 92 tea bags, guys. That's a lot. All right, so that is our answer. This pen is available in the um, planner bundle. It's a planner bundle. It's just, it's not a bundle. It's literally just a planner. Um, if you guys order the planner, right here, it's definitely upside down. I'm shame. <laughs> All right, that's the planner. Open it up. You get your, obviously, your planner, but this pen also comes in it. So whoever um, has the planner, you also have this pen. Wait, I need the pen back. I definitely need the pen back. Uh, pen back. All right. Just showing you guys a little sneak peek. Not a sneak peek. Showing you guys what you get if you go to, um, if you want this pen. All right. Um, let me go back to this, the, the drawing board. All right, guys. So that just concluded our game. Let's go ahead and see. Well, we know that we have... Um, Two winners and uh, Hopkins Ebony and Miss Julie Star. Both of you guys, I hope both of you guys are here, right? Oh, okay, I think both of you are here. Both of you guys got 700 points. So I'm going to ask both of you guys a question, um, and it's going to be your tiebreaker. So Hopkins Ebony and Miss Julie Star, I need you guys to, um, I see you, Miss, perfect. I'll just want to say, let me know y'all here, okay? All right. I'm going to ask y'all a question to see if y'all is paying attention. All right? Hold on. Um, okay, both DNA and RNA contain the purine molecules, what and what? What are the two purine molecules that are um, contained in both RNA and DNA? Go. What is it? What is it? Were you paying attention? And were you paying attention? Oh, Law, you just came? Oh, you missed this. All right, let's see who answers first between these two. Hopkins Ebony and Miss Julie Starr. What, what are the purine molecules contained in both DNA and RNA? Miss <laughs> Julie Starr said, she said, I don't got it for you. <laughs> I don't got it for you. It's A and G. Pure buyout got it first, even though she wasn't even a part of it. Um, but yes, the purine molecules, remember, are A and G. Um, yep, A and G. 
adenine and guanine, those um, purine molecules. Remember, the pyrimidine molecules, molecules, they differ between DNA and RNA. Remember, one has D, uh, timine, timine, thymine, and one has uracil, all right? RNA is the one with uracil, and DNA is the one with thymine, all right? Um, so, <laughs> that's funny. That is funny. G and C. Um, how can ever you got it wrong? It's not G and C. It's actually GNA. <laughs> Pure bio guy. <it. laughs> That's funny. That's how y'all both think. <laughs> That's funny. All right. So, well, congratulations. Both of y'all just going to have to be <laughs> winners. Both of you guys um, are going to be our winners for today. So, Hopkins, Ebony, and Miss Julie Star, both of y'all won. <laughs> both of y'all won the 700 points, and then both of y'all failed <laughs> the the tiebreaker which is so funny so it's just it's literally meant to be that y'all win i guess i'm not gonna fight fate i'm not gonna do it so congratulations hopkins ebony and miss julie star dm me your full name and your email address um so i can send you that free digital atits bundle if you already have the digital atits bundle let me know you can select another study kit um you can select another study kit that we have available. Just let me know which study kit um, you would like. Um, minus the Ultimate Nursing School Bundle. You can get any of the other smaller ones that make up. All right. So once again, Hopkins, Ebony, Miss Julie Starr, congratulations. You are a circle of applause. Round of a circle of applause. Round of applause. Um, all right. Hopkins, Ebony, you already have the ATIT Bundle. So you can go ahead and grab... Um, uh, a study kit of your choice the ivy therapy study kit if you want that's beyonce themed um dosage calculations that is monopoly themed um fundamentals it's rugrats themed it's lots of um different little study kits all creative and um really cute and fun <laughs> to study with um you can go ahead and let me view that view our study kit library and just let me know which study kit you would like uh miss julie if you don't have the ATIT bundle, you get that. So congrats again, everybody. Now, once again, this is ATIT's Tuesday. We do the same thing, but for NCLEX, LPN and RN NCLEX, um, it's all one that we do it under. So both students are welcome. We do NCLEX Jeopardy on Thursday, same time at 7 p.m. Okay, We're going to be playing for prizes just like we were. We're gonna have the blue screen. We're just going to have um, actual and click style questions. Okay. Um, oh, Angie, baby. The AMP download helped me immensely this year. Uh, the AMP one is the um, Slay Anatomy one that's similar to Grey's Anatomy. Get it? Slay Anatomy? Great. Whatever. Um, you can get that if you would like, but um, awesome job. Um. Well, you two, yeah, there's other people on the scoreboard. You two got the highest points. Okay, I'm back. Yeah, you two got the 700 points. Um, second place after you would have been AGJ 19, uh, 1991-2018. Um, why you ask? Uh-uh-uh. Oh, I Aw, well, Teddy Burlup, if you are not a part of the um, study bar community, you can get the replay there. Plus, literally all the other replays. There's about 15, there's a 15 NCLEX Jeopardies and 15 ATITs that are already locked and loaded in the study bar community. So you can, um, when you sign up, um, it's $29.99 a month, you'll get instant access to all the replays that we've done of ATITs and NCLEX Jeopardy. Um, like I said, for the past few months, like I said, 15 and 15 videos, they're all like one at least an hour long so you have hours hours and hours of review okay you also get access to the study bar library um you get the exclusive download for these this same um planner but you get it digitally it's on the digital version is only available if you sign up for the the um, study bar community and you'll get that instant access once you sign up um and join for $29.99 a month. Also, 
if you guys um, have not heard already, we are having a launch party for the opening of the um, Study Bar community, and that's going to be on Saturday. All right, it's going to be virtual, a virtual launch party. It is um, themed because I'm the theme queen, period, okay? Uh, the theme is rosé all day. Get it, Study Bar. So I'm like trying to make it a ball. Okay, rosé all day is going to be uh, the theme. We're going to have um, giveaways. Someone's going to win $250 to spend on the nursesam.com. Someone's going to win a free membership, a free year's worth of membership. One person. This will only occur once, all right? Um, one person is going to get a complimentary free year subscription um, a membership to the study bar community so you get one year access of all the goodies so you get 12 months of monthly live q a um like i said access to our video vault access to our study kit library access to exclusive um study kits that will only be released in the study bar community um business credit financial resources specifically for the nurse and nursing student aka how to afford nursing school or how to um stay financially afloat while you're going through nursing school because we all know it's kind of hard it's very hard to work during nursing school so those are the things that you can expect to um get from the study bar community we'll also have like group tutoring you can have um accountability study buddies and um, we're going to have virtual study parties. Like I said, I don't do anything boring. I don't do anything just regular plain Jane. We don't do, you know, study groups. We do virtual study parties. We do study parties. Okay. Um, like, <laughs> where's Jay when I need her? Like patho and pizza. Something like that. You know, um, so that's going to be uh, a part of the study by community. Um, let me look at what you guys are saying. I was going to donate my ATI study bundle to someone who needs it. Oh, Ebony. That's so sweet. Okay. Um, the next person behind you was AGJ1991. Um, I don't know if they're still here. This ATI test is no joke. We need help with the test. Your bundle really has helped me along with study gummies. Yeah, that's those study, study gummies. The truth made with lion's mane, which is a, a nootropic, and uh, that's just basically a smart brain drug. All right, it enhances cognitive function, increases motivation, focus, and helps with um, uh, memory and retention. Look, these are amazing. All right, they're strawberry flavored, and like I said, they're made with lion's mane, those are the main active ingredient. Um, Focus is just going to like fall upon you within 15 minutes of popping two of these babies. I swear by these and so does pretty much everybody else that takes them. Like to pop two of these before you go into your next class, before you have your next study session and just just feel the the, the motivation increase, the 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 focus, the clear the mental clarity. These are amazing. Okay, I'm not even gonna shake, I'm not gonna shake a stick at these. All right. Uh, you can buy those gummies on my website, uh, nursesam.com, um, through the app, the Nursesam app. You can get it through that. Um, yeah, Th this I suffered from um, test anxiety, and this definitely helped. So, if you have test anxiety, definitely um, invest in these study gummies. All right, let me look and see what else you guys are saying. Do, 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 do. Okay, so I'm going to contact the next winner, which is ADJ1991-2018, to see if they have the study bundle. If not, the next person was going to be Jackeray. So, I have your um, at name, so just in case, I'll let you guys know who um, is the actual winner. All right, guys, that concludes our Tease Tuesday for today. Once again, this replay will be going to our study bar community um, for you guys to access. The questions from tonight, um, let me go ahead and update them now. All right, so you'll be able to see tonight's question. The questions from tonight 
instead the questions from um, last week in just a second. So if you want to um, go over the questions we did, try to, um, you know, study, so solo study or study with the group or just kind of um, revisit the information to see if you get the same answers, that's a great way to do it. Like I said, this will be up for a week until we switch out the next questions. Um, again, make sure you guys sign up for, <clears throat> for nursehub.com if you are uh, preparing for your entrance exam, whether it be the ATITs, the HESI, the um, Wonderlic. They have <clears throat> over 7,500 7, questions, actually, um, and growing. They're also going to be updating everything to reflect um, the ATIT 7 version, which starts uh, June 3rd. They will be updating, like I said, they'll be updating everyone about that uh, via their Facebook group page. Um, let me post that link one more time. Oh, no, I didn't post, wait. All right, so you guys can go to this link to sign up and join their um, ATIT's Facebook group to get all the updates as far as the um, T7 updates, all right? All right, so good night, guys. Thank you so much for joining, and I will see you guys Thursday if you want to hop on for the NCLEX Jeopardy, or if you just want to do another T Tuesday. I'll see y'all next Tuesday. Have a good night.